Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Amanda and today I've been off to collect my first nuke of bees. Here they are in their little nuke box. I've got them put on the um, hive stand. I'm going to leave them here for half an hour. I don't think you can see anything in there, but they're all buzzing around. Um, and then we've got to get them moved over to their big hive once they've settled down. I wasn't anticipating moving them into the big hive today. Um, I thought I'd probably be leaving them 24 hours because what I was going to do was put the nuke on top of the hive stand, open the nuke and let them have a fly around and then settle down and then move them tomorrow. But the, where I bought the bees from, they said that the weather is just going to be so bad tomorrow, just leave them for a while and get them moved today so that they've got some feed on as well because the weather's not going to be very nice over the next few days. Okay, so step one, I've got the hive ready and open. I've got some frames in here already. I've got my dummy board in at the end. Um, I've got everything ready by the side of me here, the other frames to go in on the other side as the existing frames will go in here. The bees are buzzing away in there, I'm still going to give them a little bit longer. Um, I've got my sugar syrup in the feeder. I've got Invert Bee, which is what uh, I just bought from the shop that I picked the bees up from. And I've got my smoker going. Yay! So that's all going okay, I'm just going to leave that for a minute. So here goes nothing folks. So my smoker is smoking. I've got to now undo the screws out the top of the hive one at a time this is holding all the little devils in there quite active so I'm gonna put a little bit of smoke on them in a second see if I can calm them down a bit okay right that's all my screws out so now I'm gonna give them a little bit of smoke which is blowing away all over the place a chance to calm down a minute. Right, here it goes. I'm going to start lifting the frames out one by one. Oh, look at those lovely frames. And get them transferred over quickly, as quickly as possible without harming anybody. Find out little bees. Here we go, in you go. These are lovely frames. squash anybody. Right, I'm going to put my other frames in here now. They're going to be a little bit awkward, aren't they, to start with? Right, on goes the crown board. Now with the feeder, I've got to turn this upside down to start with to create a vacuum. So I'm going to do that straight away. 
So there will be a bit that comes out to start with until it creates the vacuum. You will lose a little bit to start with. I just don't want it to harm anybody. There we go. I'm going to put that on top of there like so. So they can get to that. Then on goes the super. So that I can put the lid on. And on goes the roof. There we go. Now, the other bees, hopefully, will find their way back into the hive and to the queen. I'm going to put this down here on the floor so that they can get up to the entrance. We can just sit and watch them go into their new home. How fantastic is that? I guess they're going to be... Oh, I can see some starting to come out of the entrance. So I guess they've all just got to settle down, really. And they'll find their way into their new home. Because they're really clever like that. Well, I'm pretty proud of myself this afternoon, I've got to be honest. Most of the bees are now inside, I'll show you that in a sec. Um, there's only a few flying around on the outside. It's taken a couple of hours for them to settle down, but I guess it takes anybody a couple of hours to settle down when you move house, doesn't it? So all I can say is I am really chuffed with the way things have gone. I've watched them for the last hour or so. It's really, really interesting and I can't wait to start my journey for them. Let me show you. Here we are. All right, so there's only a few of them out and about now. I've got the big entrance open at the moment because there were so many flying in and out. Um, but I think what's gonna happen is once they settle down some more, I'll put the entrance in so they've got a smaller entrance and nothing else can get in then. That should be fine until it gets really, really sunny and hot and they wanna go out to fly a lot more. So there we go. I'm gonna pop down in the morning. I'll bring you down for a look in the morning. Um, and just see how it's going then. Hi everyone, it's 24 hours later. I've just been down to check the bees and everything seems okay. I've seen a couple flying in and out, so I don't think they're gonna be doing much today. The weather's not very nice. They've got food, why would you wanna go out? So the next step is that I'm going to check them in a week's time to make sure they've got enough food. And then in two weeks time, I'll be checking them. I'll be doing like a full proper hive inspection then um, to see what's happening and how they're doing, which is really exciting. Anyway, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in seeing further updates about the bees, the pigs or anything else that we do on our little mini farm here, then please hit the subscribe button um, and obviously the bell notification button if you want to be alerted to when a new video is up. So all that's to say from me is thank you very much and bye for now.